Hey guys, quick back Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about DNA footprint assay. The DNA footprinting assay is a method of molecular biology used to study DNA protein interaction. It is used to find specific region of DNA where a particular protein binds. To carry out footprint assay, the DNA segment to be studied is amplified using PCR. The DNA segment is usually between 50 to 200 base pairs in length. The PCR amplicon is then labeled with P32 or a fluorescent dye. In the next step, the DNA segment that has been amplified by PCR is mixed with the protein. Next, we will also set up a control system where the protein is not added. The control will only have the label DNA fragments. Now, in the experimental system, once the protein binds the DNA, the system is treated with the enzyme named DNAs1. DNAs1 is an enzyme that function as a double-stranded DNA endonuclease. It binds to the minor groove of DNA and cleaves the phosphodiester bond. However, the portion of DNA that is bound with the protein remains protected from DNA's one digestion. Now, in the control system, where the protein is not added, the DNAs1 will digest the whole DNA fragment into small pieces of DNA. Whereas in the experimental system where the protein is added, the DNAs1 fails to digest the DNA where the protein is bound. Now the DNA fragments are analyzed by polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Since the DNA fragments are labeled, we keep an X-ray film on the gel and perform autoradiography. The control experiment will show a ladder as the DNA was digested into small fragments. The experimental setup will also show a ladder, but some portion of the ladder will be missing. This missing region of ladder is known as DNA footprint. The footprint is observed because the protein that was interacting with the DNA, that was bound with the DNA, protected the DNA from DNS1 digestion. Now, if we compare the region of footprint with the control, then these are the DNA fragments, these are the DNA sequences where the protein was bound. The sequencing of these fragments will give information about the DNA sequence where the protein binds.